Hey everyone, it's me, Denise of My Luxury First, and today I'm going to show you how ultramarine blue disperses well in liquid glycerin. So I have gathered the ultramarine blue in a measuring cup and also some liquid glycerin in a measuring cup. And you only need a little bit to start off if you are mixing colors. Now to start off, you can either choose water, oil, alcohol, or glycerin. But I choose glycerin because I feel like it mixes well with most of my colors. So for glycerin, I have about a tablespoon here, which is still equal to three teaspoons. Depends on how you're measuring, but I'll use a tablespoon of glycerin and I'll pour this inside of my bowl. And then for the ultramarine blue or for my coloring I probably only need about hmm, I'll say okay. half a teaspoon. You start off with a little bit and you can always add more. I like to start off with half a teaspoon which is about this much and you pour this inside of the glycerin. So as you can see it just sits there sort of the glycerin kind of reminds you of like an oil that's how thick it is and it's not watery so it sits there on top and then you mix it together now if you don't have a mini frother or something that's going to stir it really good I usually use a fork because I feel like it has like a couple stems to help stir it So I use a fork and I mix it. And as you can see, the color is so beautiful. It's starting to become a very dark blue. Now this doesn't mean that this is the color that your creation is going to actually turn out. It just depends on your other ingredients. But this is the color that you're going for if you are using a clear base. This would be the color that you're going for. And this is super beautiful. I started off using a spoon, but spoons they take longer and I don't feel like it has enough stems to help mix the, the color. So as you can see, it doesn't really take that long to mix the color. I'm already basically done mixing. This is exactly the color that I was going for. A dark blue. It has a little bit of a purple tint to it. Very pretty. And I didn't even have to use a lot of color. I only use and half a teaspoon. Depending on what you're adding it to, if the color is not how you want it, you can always just add more pigment so that way your color becomes darker. And if you want to have a less of that, less of the color, like if you want your color blue to be pastel, then you can add some white pigment or titanium dioxide to it. And I'll show you that at a later video. But for now, we're just focusing on this blue and mixing it with glycerin and how easy it disperses inside of the glycerin. As you can see, there's no clumps. And I do see a couple little speckles, so I'm guessing if I had my frother, which I let my friend borrow, then I wouldn't see those speckles at all. But you could just continue mixing to make sure that those are out. And either way, it's still a beautiful color and it mixed very well. So pretty. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment. 